So I got kind of an unboxing here. I just got a new uh, five gallon bucket of uh, dead on plastic uh, swim and jerk bait. And then I got a couple other things here. I'll show you up here on the table. So I'm sorry to say I I've already unboxed this stuff because I knew I wasn't going to be able to use it for like a couple days. And I didn't want to, I wanted to make sure it hadn't leaked or anything like that. But so I guess instead of an unboxing, it's going to be kind of an unbagging. So this is all from dead on plastic. So here we go. This is some uh, worm oil here. I was running a little low. I needed some of that. And then while I was buying my plastic and the worm oil, which is what I need mostly, I hadn't got any glitters from Dead on Plastic yet. And I've been really wanting to try some of their glitters out. So I picked four, and right here is the four that I picked. So let's open this up and see what we got. Okay. So first we got what they call uh, Barney. I got it in a .40. Can't wait to try that out. That's going to be pretty awesome. I got, they call Sky in .402. Can't wait to try that out. I got this orange, which they call Sunrise, and it's .40. Can't wait to try that out either. And I had to get this stuff. This is their new... It's a black flake, but they, a black flake, but they call it meteor, and it's .402. So yeah, so I figured what we would do is I'll mix up some plastic, and uh, we'll shoot some uh, stick baits, and we'll try each different color of uh, glitter, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'll probably pick one color. Maybe we'll shoot it all with uh, I don't know. Let's, let's go with green pumpkin. Let's just mix. Let's just throw something crazy in there. We'll go green pumpkin, uh, stick baits, and then we'll just see what we get. So let me get that all set up and I'll catch up with you here in just a few minutes. All right, here we go, guys. I got everything laid out here. We got four cups of plastic there in the back. I got the new glitter in the new containers. I like to keep all my glitter in a nice closed container because I don't want it to spill. I got the color, which we're going to go with uh, green pumpkin. This is all dead on plastic stuff. The plastisol is worm. The glitter is dead on and the pigment with an England AI stick bait over there. I think we'll start with, let's start with meteor all right i'm gonna start to cooking and i'll uh, catch up with you when we got it all mixed up all right so i got the first color this is meteor there it is right there see that down there i don't want to pour it out let me get a little lower there we go it's like a sparkly holographic black let's see what it does Nice, even pressure. Count to about 10 seconds. Top off the sprue. Or the runner, whatever you want to call it. Put that back in there. I think it's going to make a pretty good color. So, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the sparkles on camera or not, but we'll give it our best. All right. All right, we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes, and I'll get back with you here as soon as I uh, can open up the mold and show you the, the cool colors. All right, let's check out this color. So I didn't go too dark with the green. I did uh, 40 drops. I know a lot of people do about 60 drops in a cup of uh, plastic. So here we go. Here we go. Big reveal. Black Meteor. Or just Meteor, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it looks really good. So you guys really can't see it. it looks just like regular pumpkin seed. But uh, yeah, there's some colors in there. Stuff like that. Let me get a couple of them here. That's cool. That's really cool. There's all kinds of different colors in there. I know you guys can't really see that very good, but but yeah, take it for me. It's pretty cool looking. That's a good color. I like it. It's like a little twist on uh, pumpkin seed. So. All right, I'm going to get this uh, cleaned up, and um, we're going to start with the next color. So I'll catch up with you guys here in just a few minutes. All right, here's our second color. It is got the blue, the sky color, which is right over there. And we're going to shoot it. Color is good. I mean, the uh, temperature is good. I like this one a lot. This one's looking pretty good. Yep, 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 yep. I like the blue. Makes this green really pop out. 
Alright, put the excess in there, spin that up, put that to the side. We'll let that cool down for a little bit, top off our uh, sprue. I'll get back with you here all in just a second to show you the color. All right, let's do this review. Let's get these off real fast. Give them a good twist. That was a good one. See what we got here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me put these back like that. Look at that. That is cool. Yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah, that blue. That blue pops. That's really cool. All right, let's move on to the next uh, color. I'll get back with y'all here in just a few minutes. All right, here we go. We got some uh, Barney mixed in with this one. Still green pumpkin, but Barney glitter right here. All right, let's shoot this. Temperature's perfect. Shoot it nice and slow. There we go. This mold does suck up some plastic, I will say that. So, just top it off there a little bit. Put the excess in there. I think it's going to look pretty good. There's a little test of what it's going to look like. Uh, a lot of air bubbles, a lot of air bubbles, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. So, we'll let that cool down for a couple minutes, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's try this reveal. All right, so this was the Barney. And, uh, man, that mold's a little hot still. This was the Barney. Put that over there, and uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a real, real lot. That looks really good. Wow, let's get some of them out. So, what do y'all think? Yeah, I like the purple, or the Barney, whatever you want to call it. That's cool. That's cool. All right, we're going to go on to the next one. I'll catch up with y'all here in just a minute. So this time I thought it'd slow down a little bit on the last color. So we're going to do the sunrise. This awesome, cool orange color with uh, the green pumpkin again. So I got my temperature on my saw up to uh, the right temperature. And we're going to start putting drops. And I'm going to do 40 drops. So one, two, three. Nine forty. Oh, forty. Then we're gonna give it a, a, a stir. Yep. And that's our color. That's our base color right there. Sweet. Then I'm gonna grab the, the glitter. Open the top. And I'm gonna put. This is a uh, quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna put a pretty good heave in one of it. There we go. Of this orange. Wow, it looks really awesome really awesome and then i'm gonna do just a little about three quarters to a half more tap that in there make sure the glitter is off that close this top because we definitely do not want to drop this and ruin all that then i'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top here and i'm going to stir it in you're going to see it look really really cool here so i'm going to grab a glove so i can hold my cup here and then look at that it's like a holographic orange. I'm actually gonna add some more to it. Why a little bit more to it. That really doesn't show up too good. There we go. That's better. Let's stir that in. There we go, now we can see it. There we go, now you can see that orange on there. Now because I'm doing stick baits, because I plan on probably using these as, you know, wacky rigs pretty much, I'm gonna put salt in it. This is salt. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do medium salt. So for medium salt, I do about an eighth of a cup of salt right there. I'm just gonna dump that right in there. Put that back on top there, close the lid, and I'm gonna stir this in. Now that just shocked it. I'm gonna get my gloves, sorry. Safety first. Now that just shocked this color and it made it drop drastically in temperature because I put that salt in there. <clears throat> and it kind of lightens up a little bit and it's gonna make your uh, stick baits heavy so you can really launch them. So yeah, that looks really good. I like that a lot. That looks really, really cool. Yep. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to attempt to vacuum uh, chamber this stuff 
when you use salt, it's really tough to vacuum chamber plastic salt. But I'm gonna try to get as many bubbles out of this as I possibly can. And when I do, we'll shoot this and then we'll see which one y'all like better. All right, let's shoot this color. We got it right temperature. I vacuumed it as best I could. It's really hard to vacuum plastic salt when it comes to salt. It's a pain in the butt. It's hard to work with, but I want these salted because I want to use them probably mostly for wacky rigs. But I want a nice heavy sinking bait. And uh, the way to get that is put salt in them. So, all right, that was a good, uh, that was a good shoot. I'm gonna put a little topper off here on the top here. There we go, that should do it. Give it a couple minutes here and then I'll show you guys the color. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, let's take a look at these colors. I'm sorry, let's take a look at these, uh, these stick baits. Put that down, that's a little hot. There we go. I'm gonna put this on the ground this time. That's all right, there we go. Wow, those are cool. I like those too. Those are pretty neat. That orange looks really good with that green. So what do y'all think? Pretty good color. I think it'll catch fish. All right, cool. So give me just a few minutes. I'm gonna clean up here and uh, I'll let you all see them side by side. So hold on. All right, everybody, there's all the colors. There's the meteor, the sky, the Barney, and the sunrise. Which one's your favorite? Do you like the meteor? There's a close shot of it. There's the sky. I like that one. I like the Barney. I like the sunrise. But wait, I have a bonus round for you all. Stay tuned. Got a cool surprise for you all. All right, so here's the bonus round. There's my four cupper. And what I did is I took all my leftover that we just did from those Senkos, or uh, sorry, stick baits, and uh, put them all in this one container right here. We're gonna melt it down. I say we add another scoop to each color and maybe like 20 more drops of the uh, green pumpkin here right there. And uh, we'll come up with this cool color with all these different glitters mixed into it. So let me cook that up and I'll get back with you here in just a minute. All right, look at that. That's a big cup of plastic saw right there. That was everything was left. It looks pretty good. Actually, I don't even know if we need the add glare to it, but I am anyways, just to, just to do it. So we're gonna add one big scoop of each color to this. Let me come around the camera here. Look at that stuff. That stuff's amazing looking. Yep, put that in there. We got the blue, call they call it sky. Look at that stuff, that stuff's awesome. Oh yeah, it's a good scoop. Good scoop, I hope that's not too loud of me banging it onto the glass there. I'm sorry about that if it is. The Barney, wow, that stuff's amazing looking. Look at that. I'm trying to tap too many times. I don't know how good this microphone's picking up sound, so we'll see. And then sunrise. I really like that sunrise. That sunrise is really cool looking. Big heaving one of that one. There we go. We're done tapping. We're done tapping. We're done tapping. And then we're just going to stir this all in. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Get some of these sides. Oh, that's gonna look cool. That is gonna look cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna heat this back up and get ready to start shooting them there. I'll catch up with y'all here in just a few minutes. All right, temperature's a little low, but I'm gonna shoot anyways. Like I said, it's hard to heat up a big chunk of plastic like this, but let's do it. Oh yeah, very easy to get a full uh, tube of plastic saw there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holding pressure, holding pressure. All right. Fill it back up, fill it back up. There's the rest. Now I'm gonna shoot that at least another time there, but uh, here in a minute, I'll, I'll show you guys the, um, the results. Let that cool down for a few minutes. I'll catch up with you here. 
just a minute all right guys it's uh let's uh check these out oh yes one spin see if i can do that again oh yeah one spin yes all right here we go ready oh wow those are cool those are really cool check those out those are really really cool sweet 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 all right let's put them in the bath i'm gonna shoot it again and then i'll show you everything all right i'll get back with you all right everybody here they are so i did uh two runs of them i think they'll catch fish i really do i like it, it looks really really cool so that was the dead on meteor sky barney and sunrise in 0.40 with the Anglin AI stick bait, uh, five inch. Yeah, and here they are. I like it. All right, I appreciate everybody for watching. I'll see you on the next one.